Hello and welcome to my first ever craft studio tutorial. Hopefully um, by the end of it we'll have created a, a Minecraft character, maybe your own Minecraft character with your own skin uh, and that uh, you can kind of manipulate and hopefully animate in craft studio and hopefully I'm going to be doing some uh, Minecraft sort of animation with, uh, with my model later on in another tutorial. So let's get started. First things first, where did this tutorial come from? Well, it kind of came from uh, this YouTuber called uh, Not Explosive, and uh, has done some really terrific um, craft studio tutorials. And the one about texturing challenged everybody to create their own Minecraft uh, character, uh, which is what, exactly what I'm going to do. So first things first, we need a Minecraft skin. Uh, and I'm getting mine from minorshoes.com and it's got an editor and it's got a browse you can browse the skins as well so you can even uh, you can even kind of uh, put your own name in for your, your character name and um, uh, and find uh, and find them just there so let's uh, open it up so there's mine it will come in like this and then we can kind of download it and it downloads here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it up in Chrome. Uh, what that enables me to do is enables me to right click it and to copy the image. Once I've copied the image I can go into Craft Studio itself and create uh, a new character, a new model. So the first things first we need to go up to my models tab and uh, click on the plus button to create model. And I'm going to call this uh, the common people. And create. Okay, so here we are with nothing here at all. We've got a little texture area down here, and we can kind of zoom in on that. I'm just going to open it up for us, and I'm going to go to paint, and I'm going to press Control V. Oh, click in there first, Control V. There we go. Uh, so you click into this area, and uh, Control V to paste the image from the clipboard that was saved earlier. So we'll just uh, slot that into position. That looks great. Click my brush. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that's the um, the texture from my Minecraft character, pasted directly into Craft Studio. So let's get some modeling done. So the next thing we're going to do is going to create a block. I'm going to call this block Head, and press Create. And uh, we can see here that it's created a lovely. Let's just give ourselves a bit more room. Uh, a, a lovely block. Uh, with some of this uh, texture over here um, all smattered all over it. Unfortunately that block is too big for the texture so we're gonna have to reduce the size of the, of the block. So we go to back up to build and we change the block size. Now if, I think we go to 8 by 8 by 8. Tab out of that and that looks about right but of course doesn't look uh, doesn't look quite right over here still looks a bit odd doesn't look like my head so what we need to do is go down here and we can see this pink area relates to the pink area here and if we move this about you can see that it it moves about onto the um, the 3D render so we need to position this let's look at the front and there we go now there's my little Minecraft head hello um. And it's it's a kind of as simple as that. So basically, it's about changing the block size, not stretching the block. We'll talk about that later because I did. Uh, uh, I've got an example with honeydew because you know you can wear Minecraft helmets. Wow, there's something interesting that happens with that. So let's let's carry on with this this tutorial and uh, create another block. I'm going to call this one body. Uh, and at the moment, it's joining in it's kind of creating a hierarchy so this is like the parent and this is like the child but I don't want that just yet I'll get to that when we do some animation but right for now I'm going to separate them out so body again we come up with this giant block and I'm going to do 8 by 8 by 8 just create a smaller block head size shape um, and I'm just going to move it down a little bit just underneath that body. Now as we know a Minecraft body isn't round and square like that so let's just let's just tab back into Miner's Need Cool Shoes and we can kind of see with a bit of reference we can see that it's smaller but it's the same width. Okay so 
Great. So let's pop back into here. So the blue needs to be uh, short, shorter, but everything else needs to be bigger. So let's try four. Well, that looks about right. But again, it doesn't look as long. So what we can do over here is uh, what I tend to do is I tend to sort of drag this down. And we've got the width right, but it's too short. And we can cons just select it there. We can see that it's got to go all the way down to the bottom here. So let's do that. So let's, uh, and that's the green. So basically, we're going to increase the green. So let's increase the green to something like 12, which is perfect. But I need to move it because it's uh, it's clipped into the head. So there we go. Let's zoom out a little bit and have a look. That's pretty good. Okay, so we've got our body sorted out. Uh, let's go to let's create another one and let's create a leg. Now let's do a leg. Now I'm going to just create one leg. And, uh, and then duplicate it across. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to create this quite small, 4 by 4 by 4 and move it down. And move myself down as well so I can see where, where we're all at. Okay, great. So there's, um, there's our leg. And our legs are over here. Now, of course, it's going to be a bit longer than that, so I'm going to go back into block size and maybe change it to 8. Uh, no, I think it's going to be 12 again, isn't it? So that's perfect. So if we look over here, we see that the red is on the outside of the leg. And at the moment, we can see it's on the wrong side of the body. So I'm going to move it across, move it down. So that's now in place. And I'm going to just over here again, pull it away from its, uh, from its hierarchy. And I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to duplicate the duplicate the leg across on the mirror on the x axis. Duplicate, and it pops it directly over, flips it as well, so that is perfectly, perfectly done. Excellent. And now we can do exactly the same with our arms. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to duplicate the leg again, um, but I'm going to call it arm. Oh, by the way, let's just uh, let's just get the left and right bits of our leg sorted out. So that is, the, that's his left leg. Oops, well, let's just get the arm out of the way, actually. Leave you over there. That's Han's left leg. So in here, I'm going to rename it leg with a capital L. And then this one must be his right one. So again, I'm going to rename it R. And that's going to come in handy when we do some animation later on. Let's go back to the arm. Uh, yeah, the arm. Which has got the texture of the leg on because I just I just duplicated it. Let's just put it in position. There we go. You're a bit far out. Let's get you a bit closer. Perfect. Now here it is over here, but actually the texture is over here. So all I have to do is literally I just need to drag it across. Now does that look right? Looks right to me. And what I want to do with this is I well let's just let's just check that it's got a bit of grain on the body side so let's just go into new shoes and make sure yeah that little bit of gray there isn't it's the body so it's the right it's the, in the right place so what I need to do is I need to duplicate this across the x-axis and duplicate and there it is so there's my model almost finished now let's just um, go behind him rename it arm R Clicking on pencil gets us to edit the uh, edit the name, rename it, and there we go. And it's it's as simple as that. And what I'll do next next time is I'll I'll do the animation. I'll show you how we can move the um, move the pivot offsets, and so we can kind of create a really interesting animation, and maybe even um, cut his arms and <laughs> legs in half as well. Uh, but apart from that, let's just quickly show you Honeydew. Okay, let's open him up. Now Honeydew's a bit different because he's got the main the main figure is done in exactly the same way. But if we look at his texture over here, he's got a helmet. And the helmet for him is this um is a little bit of the beard. 
and these kind of horn bits over here and this, this grey area around the outside. Now there it is helmet. Now the thing about the helmet is, is it's exactly the same shape as the head, uh, you know, size wise. So what I had to do to lift it off the face to give it that kind of 3D look is I stretched it. And I stretched Honeydew's um, helmet um, by 1.2, 1.2, 1.2. You see if we can, I'll just, I'll just show you how to demonstrate how this works. So if I do 2, you can see it stretches way, way off. So experiment 1.2 seemed to work for me. Um, and that's how we kind of get that, uh, that slight relief on Honeydew's beard and helmet. So I hope that helped, and I hope uh, it'd be great to see everybody else's um, uh, explorations with Craft Studio and how you get on with it. And uh, for my students, I hope uh, hope to see your work too as well, and I'll be sharing that uh, on the forum, on the Craft Studio forum too. So thanks very much for listening, and I hope everyone has a great new year. Thanks. Bye bye.